Hi guys, welcome to the Finding Love is Hard podcast. My name is Ademola, and on this podcast, we're going to be talking about love and why finding love is so hard in Nigeria, especially in Lagos, maybe globally. Finding love may be hard where you are. But on this podcast, we're going to be talking about why it's so hard for singles to find love in Lagos and why the dating pool is in such a mess. We are going to be having guests on the show, and today we have our first guest. Her name is Rose Oba, a very beautiful lady and well spoken. The next face you are going to be seeing is that of roses. So you are on the hot seat. You can say that again. How do you feel? Well, a bit nervous, and but I got you. So introduce yourself. Tell us about. You. Okay, so my name is um, Rose Oba. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an entrepreneur. I sing as well. Mm -hmm. So I do a couple of other things, a um, couple of other businesses and mm -hmm. all of that. So, I know you sell hair. Yes. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you are flaunting your hair, right? Yes, so this is one so of the So why the fuck are you singing? <gasps> yeah. Okay, so I have to ask. I, I, I need to bring him this time. Maybe I haven't seen what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Ah, my what, my qualities are not are not difficult. Mm. They are not so, so much. I just need a man that has um, a good heart, mm. um, who is naturally kind. Because mm -hmm. um, I think that's like my top list. Somebody who I don't want to use the word God fearing because I feel that it's been bastardized. So mm. I'd rather say someone who has a knowledge of who God is and mm -hmm. has a relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. um, I also say somebody. Is dating God. Oh, if you can see, and I can be in the picture. There's no problem. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, um, somebody who has a source of income that can actually. Get so, what we are talking about source of income? Like, how much do you think is would sustain a family you are trying to build? So, would you say 100k is enough? Yeah, okay. Um, if that is not the only source of income, I what think if it that, is the only source of income? Ah, it needs to double is also. So that means you will still consider someone who earns 100k, provide, provided that he's willing to double his also and earn more. Yes, 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 yes. Trust me. I, I will, I would, if he has every other quality aside from that, because I am also looking at what I'm bringing into the table as well. So, so what do you bring to the table? I bring money. Hey, okay. I bring peace. <laughs> I bring God. I bring. Um, I just want someone who will just work on each other. Let's assume our director is single and he earns hundred k per month. Okay. As, assuming that is what he earns per month, yeah. and then he approaches you. Okay, so you like him. You like his stature. You like his face. You like the way he speaks. He has all the other attributes, but then he only earns hundred k per month. Well, like I said, if he's willing to. You know, double up. So, at what point will you bring the conversation of doubling up? Will it be at the beginning or maybe after you the spot. Yes. Because that is going to determine if we are going to further continue this or not. Mm. So, it's going to be a first hand information. Okay, so you do this. Okay, are you willing to do this? Can you do this? Can you do that? And then from there, you can know that. Okay. So, a scenario a guy who earns a lot, he drives a Range Rover, okay. approaches you. You like him, you know, you put. But then he keeps hiding his phone from me at every opportunity. Maybe his phone is ringing, he immediately turns it upside down. We are in the car together and his phone is ringing, he puts it to silence. And then, would you still continue with that? No, I honestly cannot. I have something, I have a problem with, I have panic issues. Mm. <laughs> I, I can't deal. I like my peace more than any other thing. Thank okay. you for the money, I love it. Thank you for the <laughs> outing, I appreciate it. But mm -hmm. you see, when it comes to the issue of marriage, I'd let you know that we can't go far with this. Mm. Yeah, I'm being honest. All right, so... What would be your ideal first date? Are you going to go with the likes of Okoye Mifama who says a coffee date is enough? Or would you want to go to a five-star restaurant, a three-star restaurant, a beach? Or where would you really like to have your first date? Okay, so when it comes to this issue, I'm very controversial. I don't even like dating the persons. Mm. I'm being honest with you. So you don't like dating, like going out on a date with the guy? I don't like it. So... It takes a lot of effort. Just to be clear, look into the camera and say it again. <laughs> look into the camera and say it. Tell them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'm just weird when it comes to the aspect. But they, it takes a lot of effort for me. So, I... Uh, anywhere. Comfortable. Anywhere comfortable. Comfortable. Okay.
So when you're going on a date, would you like the guy taking you out on a date to pay for your transport fare, to pay for your makeup, to pay for your outfits? What's your take on that? Okay, so if you feel like, um, you know, ordering my Uber, Uber fee for me, it's, it's all good. But having to pay for my makeup and my dress, I think that's absurd. Mm. Uh, yeah. What if it comes, you know, with a package? Okay, that's free. <laughs> <laughs> not like you're demanding. I, I'm not demanding, but if it comes, take it away. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. So, my real questions. What do you think makes it hard to find love? Especially in this Lagos. <sighs> this question is actually very tough. Mm. You know, in this Lagos, mm. it's mm. difficult. I can't lie to you. Lagos love. I can't say Connie Connie love. Connie <laughs> <laughs> Connie love, you they do me. Yo. I don't know. I don't see that. <laughs> You know, I just feel that everybody has their own definition of what marriage relationship mm -hmm. is to them. And they tend to project it on people. And when you go online, there's so many lectures that speaks about this is the way to handle a relationship. This is the way you should go. So there's a lot of controversy. So you see my own way, his own view does not even tally with mine. So there's this... So talking about type. social media relationship experts, you, so you think that actually contributes to the confusion in the dating scene? To a large extent, I think, there's so many wrong philosophies. You just need to know what you want and just hold on to it. I, I just tire, honestly. So, the key point from that is that know what you want yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't go looking at what people are saying on social media, what people are writing in books. It's good to read books, it's good to you know, watch videos, but pick what works for you. Don't say because your favorite couple has said this is what you should do, then you should do it. My wife and I have a channel, Mr. and Mrs. AG. We talk about what works for us on our page. We are not telling you to go and do what works for us in your own marriage or in your own relationship. Please, do what works for you. If what works for us, you can try it. Yes, there's no error in trying. You can try it, but make sure you do what works for you. Back to you, my guest. Rose Oba, mm -hmm. have you noticed any trend in your own dating cycle or your relationship cycle that you think is affecting your chances of being in a long-lasting relationship? Um, Be honest. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Yes. Uh, I think I lack patience. You personally. Lack patience. Yes. Hmm. I have zero tolerance for excesses mm -hmm. and flaws. And I it's something I'm intentionally working on. Okay. I always have this the picture. It's okay to have a picture of mm -hmm. how things should go, but... Don't be too much over it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm working on that. I'm, I'm, I need a lot of patience to be able to know that, okay, flaws are part of people. Mm -hmm. And you just have to accept. But there's a clause to this. There's always a clause to this. There's a clause to this. Choose your battles <laughs> wisely. Don't come okay. and say, because I say I accept flaws. You will now see something that you know that you cannot deal with on a normal mm -hmm. day. You now accept it. Your marriage will not crash. You now say, they said it in one. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever used any dating app before no why there's nothing wrong with dating app in fact i've had to tell some friends because there was a time you wait know, you are seeing where you're telling friends to use dating app. Uh, somebody told me <laughs> i decided to share the information for free i know that you wait, know? somebody told you yes. because you are single yes so you have not tried it mm. i tell you the other single friends to try uh, it maybe their testimony will ginger me oh you know. Okay. What is your worst heartbreak story? <gasps> Give it to you. <laughs> no, no, no. To you I'm over it. I won't cry. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I won't cry. Okay, so tell us your... We were still in a relationship. Yeah, we're having issues. Mm -hmm. And then um, but you know when you're having issues with your man and you feel like this is still going to work. Mm -hmm. And your man was going out with someone else. While you were still in like, the relationship. Yeah, while I was in the relationship. And it was not even somebody that was far. It was somebody that was way in the same environment. Oh, wow. You know, and I didn't get to know until when I saw a proposal ring on somebody else's status. I'm like, okay, I know this ring. <laughs> and I know this person. What just happened? You know, that was like the worst so, for me. You were in a relationship. <laughs> and then he went on and proposed to somebody else. Can I say that again? The breakfast was hot. 
<laughs> I mean, I used to hear this story. I heard these stories. I read them on social media. I never thought I would sit down next to someone who has experienced this. How did you feel? Ah, that day I went for a program. I was even supposed to sing. I was singing with so much passion. Mm. So they thought the spirit was they lacking. They thought the Holy Spirit. They didn't know but that. But it was pain. Me, please, <laughs> pain. You know, I sang out my heart that day. Mm. <laughs> but it was a broken heart. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The show must go on. Yeah. Are you feeling it should be more comfortable now? Yeah. yeah. Now come back to your comfort zone. I... No. Okay. Are you an open-minded person when you are searching for who you want to be with? And how do you balance being open-minded and your individuality, like your person? Okay, if you had asked me this question like um, probably two years ago, I would have said I was too stiff. Mm -hmm. It was what I want was what I wanted. I wasn't ready to, you know, adapt to anything that wasn't in line with what I wanted. But asking me now, that life has taught me, like I said, I don't like to see flaws. I don't know how to manage it. Mm -hmm. But it's something I'm consciously working on. So what is the number one red flag that you know you cannot deal with? Bad habits. What kind of bad habits? Smoking. Smoking? Yeah, it kind so of... So if you are smoking, smoking don't come here our DM. <laughs> completely. <laughs> what other thing? Cheating. Cheating. I mean, it's everybody's red flag. But some people still go ahead and date someone who's cheating because... I of... cannot. I say I have panic issue. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I will die with the relationship. Oh, really? No, I can't. I can't deal. So please, if you are a cheater, you have multiple relationships. Don't come near Rose yes. Oba. I like who are honest mm. and blunt. I think I'm blunt, so I like who are honest and blunt. Just and tell blunt. me the way it is. So please... You need to be very transparent. If you are going to come near, in short, I will, I will investigate your life. <laughs> I will investigate your life. So if you think you're liking Rose, you like how she looks, you like what she said so far, send me a DM. <laughs> send us a DM. You are going to come on this show as well, and we are going to talk man to man. Not man to woman. I mean, it's a man you like, right? Yes, of course. You don't, you, yes, you don't, you don't think both ways. No, no, it's a man. Man. It has to be man. A man. A manly man. A man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Rose. Yes. I'm going to put you on the spot, Anna, because, you know, yes. you're a very good singer. I've heard your song before. I've heard your music before. I've watched some of your videos before as well. You're going to sing for us, and you're going to compose a song for this show. We don't have a theme song yet, so you are going to sing the song for this podcast for us. Are you ready? So I'm going to give you two minutes. You're going to compose it and I'm going to sing it. Are you up for the challenge? Should I remove my wig? I think this is the <laughs> off spot. <laughs> you can even you make it feel comfortable. You can remove your wig. Because this is actually the off spot. Ah! Compose a song in the next two minutes. Ah! <laughs> you actually remove your So, your time is up. Can okay. you think now? <laughs> we are here to find love. We are here to talk about love. It's the podcast show with the edges where we want to talk about love. Keep watching. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So you composed that just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Thank That's you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Rose. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. We don't have sponsors yet. We forgive you part. We will kind of go <laughs> but you know, if you are watching this and you want to be a part of this show, you want to sponsor this show, please send a mail to couple at rainbow.com.ng with the title sponsorship for the flip podcast. And if you want to be a guest on the show, Please go to www.flip, that's F L I H P, dot minisites, dot AI to sign up with the form on the website. See you on the next episode of Finding Love is Hard podcast. Bye bye. Ciao.